Lisa's toothbook has access restrictions. It is not easy to get her information. If we can find a way to log into her toothbook, we will see all the posts. Perhaps the password reset function can help us. You did a great job. Now, in order to see what is hidden on Toothbook, you just need to log into Lisa's mailbox.
Is this person an old classmate of Lisa? Interesting. He may know something about Lisa's past. You can make an anonymous call by using a fake identity and see what he knows. Looks like Lisa is in a good mood lately. I can't believe she was assaulted by Modi. By the way, do you remember when the assault happened according to her? Hello, who is this? Journalist? I don't remember we had any connection before. How did you find me? It seems that I have posted the phone number. Hmm. The interview is fine, but you have to make sure to report it truthfully. And I hope this is an anonymous interview. She and I are college classmates. We haven't talked for a long time after graduation, but I did hear about her because of her divorce. Ah, I think these are just rumors. Lisa was a very talented student. Sometimes psychologically unstable though. She would emotionally collapse whenever she became stressed out. She was very reliant on her boyfriends during her college years. <laughs> I, I don't believe she's capable of something like a fraudulent marriage. Because my roommate, Anthony Bakeland, was in a relationship with her and they eventually got married. But they broke up shortly afterwards and I don't know why. Sorry, I don't. He vanished from the world, and no one has heard anything about him. You are amazing. We found so much useful information already.
Let's sort out what we got. Use inference at the top right to see what conclusions we can draw. You really sorted out all the clues. It's a pity that you didn't become a detective. Lisa is indeed a suspicious person. Maybe Modi's accusations are true. We should continue to find out the truth behind this incident. By the way, have you checked Modi's company? I think its name is Defoss. <laughs> 